Friends, today in this video, we will learn about the connection of limit switch with contactor. Along with this, I will also explain how this switch can be used with other applications and how connection is done with these applications. Limit switch is a type of electromechanical device. I am referring this as electromechanical device because this switch is operated by the action of mechanical force. When you apply a mechanical force, then this switch generates electrical output. That is why this is electromechanical device. We can use this limit switch with a lot of applications. For example, we can use this switch in controlling, interlocking and even for counting the object. So you can use this switch in a numerous ways. Only you have to think about the purpose. One thing you should keep in mind is that we can only use this switch in places where some motion is present. By the help of that motion, the switch will operate when comes in contact. If no movement is present in your application, then you cannot use this limit switch with that application. There are many types of limit switch. As you can see, total 6 types of switch I have right now, which is manufactured by CNC company. There are more types of limit switch other than these. By types of limit switch, I mean the way in which switch is operated. Like this switch is operated like this. This one is operated by pressing on the top. This one needs to be operated like this. Only the way in which it is operated is different, but the working and wiring will be same for all. For wiring in limit switch, if you look closely, in some limit switch, two terminals are provided. In some limit switch, you will find three terminals. In this limit switch, this point is common. This one is NO and this is NC. For three terminals, common NO and NC are given. If in your limit switch, four terminals are provided, then two will be NO and two will be NC. Before moving to wiring part, let's understand some basic knowledge of this limit switch. This part in limit switch is known as plunger. On top of plunger, roller is given. This roller contacts with moving part and plunger gets operated. When this plunger operates, then inside the switch, an element is present. Here, which is exactly like NO-NC contact. The way in which push button changes NO-NC contact in the same way, limit switch changes NO-NC contact by movement of plunger. To check whether limit switch is working properly, just move the plunger and you will hear knocking sound. You heard just now the knock knock sound. So if you move the plunger and knocking sound occurs, then your limit switch is ok. But we cannot say this with 100% surety. To make sure this switch is 100% ok, you can use multimeter and check the continuity here by moving the plunger. If NONC contact changes, then limit switch is ok. Let's begin with wiring of limit switch. This limit switch which I have now is to be connected with this lamp. This lamp is going to be operated with this switch. For connecting limit switch with lamp, what you have to do is first open the cover of switch, then provide the phase supply. For providing phase supply, I am using this MCB. Connect wire to the point where phase supply is present and other end of the wire must be connected to NO contact of limit switch. For now, I am explaining connection with NO contact. Later, I will explain with NC contact. We will receive output of this NO contact at this point. So I will connect this phase wire of lamp to this point. This means phase supply will reach to lamp. We also need to provide neutral power supply to this lamp. So I will directly connect this neutral wire with neutral point of MCB. The connection is now completed and now I am turning on the MCB. On turning on the MCB, you can see lamp is not glowing. This lamp is in off condition because connection is in NO contact. Let's assume this switch is mounted with a conveyor belt. This means the object which is coming will touch this switch. When it touches the switch, then contact will change in switch and lamp will start glowing. This means now limit switch is generating output command. When the belt releases the switch, then limit switch comes back to original position and our lamp will turn off. On operating through NO contact, if limit switch does not operate, then this lamp or signal will not going to be generated. Now if you use NC contact of limit switch, let's change the connection fastly. So now I connected the wires at NC contact. When I turn on this MCB, you can see lamp is in on condition. This means output command is generated by limit switch. When an object touches the switch in this way and there is a movement in plunger, then lamp will turn off. On releasing the plunger, lamp will again turn on. Till now, I explained about NO and NC contact. 
if you want to use both the contact together you know as well as nc the phase supply wire to nc is to be looped with no contact so i am using a wire to supply power to show the output signal from no contact i am connecting one more lamp phase wire is to be connected with no contact and we will directly provide the neutral power supply the connection is now completed so i am turning on the mcb on turning on the mcb you can see this lamp is on now this lamp was connected with nc contact so it is turned on now if i operate this limit switch then you can see lamp connected with nc is turned off and with no turned on this means now limit switch is generating output signal to no contact and stopped signal to nc contact on again releasing this comes back to normal position on again operating you can easily understand what's going on if you want to turn on or off the load with the help of limit switch then one thing is important to keep in mind and that is current rating for this limit switch if i look closely on the cover you will see 5a is written here this means that with this limit switch maximum 5 ampere current can be supplied if you have heavy load then you have to use contactor in that condition i hope you like this video if you like this video please do like share comment on this video and please subscribe my channel thanks for watching the video